Hi, this is Joe Stagner again. Welcome back to this series of videos on ASP.NET Dynamic Data. Uh, in, in, in this and the next couple of videos, we're going to have a look at the routing mechanisms that are built into ASP.NET Dynamic Data. And the routing mechanisms are important for a couple of reasons. First of all, because the routing mechanism defines the URL sequence that will be used in our application. And the URL sequence both uh, uh, is important for a couple of reasons. First, um, it provides an intuitive uh, navigation path for the data areas and functionality that's available in our application. And secondly, because it can make our URLs more, um, uh, more search engine friendly. So uh, a couple other things that we're going to show subsequently, just to sort of whet your appetite, uh, that rely on uh, the routing features in dynamic data are um, the ability to enable inline editing using uh, the routing mechanism, as well as the ability to specify um, different, uh, uh, different action handlers for different tables in our application. So let's uh, fire up Visual Web Developer and open the application that we've been working on. And um, let's go ahead and run this just as a refresher to remember what the URL sequence looks like. So you see here we're uh, uh, we're at the default level. So this is our uh, this is our uh, application name. So this is the folder that my application lives in, and we're at the default.asbx page. Now, if we click on the customers, or I'm sorry, on the products table, we'll navigate into the products table. Now let's look at the URL. So what you see here is we have our application name, and then we have products, which appears as a directory name, but, but really isn't. This is a dynamic template, so products happens to be the table name. And then we have list.aspx. So um, products is the table, and list is the action for this table. Now, if we go uh, back out to the default.aspx page and click on customers, then we'll see in the URL that we're now at customers list.aspx. So again, uh, this isn't a real directory, it's a virtual directory, uh, and it's the table's name, and this is the action. So in fact, if I go in and s click on edit, we'll go up and we'll see we're still in the customers table, but now our action is edit. And of course, there's a, uh, the customer ID parameter to the uh, edit.aspx page. But what if for some reason uh, we wanted to change the sequence um, or the formatting of our URL? Maybe, uh, maybe it just makes more sense semantically for our application to say edit customers as opposed to customers edit. Well, no problem. So let's go ahead and hop into the uh, global.asax page for our application and I'll scroll down to this uh, routes, uh, routes entry here. Uh, so here we're uh, adding a route, new dynamic data route, and notice here we have this uh, table and this action entry. And notice that we're saying that the action applies to list, details, uh, which is the details view action, edit, and insert. Okay, so, um, so this route right now is going to handle all of the actions for our application. But what if, we, um, what if we wanted to change the sequence of our URL? What if we said, let's make action come first and table come second? We can go ahead and do that. Right? Um, and if, if, uh, if you're familiar with routing or you're looking at uh, uh, the uh, ASP.NET MVC technology, uh, this is the same routing engine that's used in ASP.NET MVC, so it may be familiar to you. And if it's not, and you, you learn how to manipulate uh, uh, the routing mechanism here in Dynamic Data, then you'll, you'll also be familiar with it if you start working with MVC. So let's go ahead and run the application. And uh, in default.aspx, let's uh, click on one of the tables. And what you'll see now is the URL definition has changed. Instead of saying products slash list.aspx, now it says list, which is the action, and products.aspx, which is the table name. If we go back out and choose a different table, so let's say orders, we'll see that we now have list, dot, uh, list slash orders.aspx. And uh, same with different actions. Right, so here we're saying edit orders.aspx. And now the orders.aspx file, which again is a virtual file, um, uh, gets the order ID number. So uh, that's just a, a, a quick tip on how you can change the uh, URL sequence using the routing mechanism. In the next couple of videos, we're going to show you um, how to uh, enable inline editing by, uh, by uh, configuring the routing mechanism, as well as uh, how to apply specific 
um, action templates uh, for specific tables also by using the routing mechanism in ASP.NET dynamic data. <laughs>